Now, guys, as I'm going to show you, it's been raining the whole night. As I'm going to show you, I did, uh, as I've just said, put the hedgehogs out last night. With my little friend, one of my cats, Cookie, beside me, and she's there again. How do we get on here? Good morning, Cookie. Where are you? Come on. Good morning, Cookie. Now, because it, <coughs> excuse me, because it was so so late last night. I could hardly see a thing, as you can see the hog house. I've still got my jammies on as it's very, very early. And I was down here, I think, half past 11 or thereabouts. And as you can see, guys, it's not the most um, easy to get to places at that time of night with a torch. Two hedgehogs, and then I went back up to get the food and water. So, as you can see over there is the wildlife or a little pile that we've been stacking up for years. There's a little burrow in there for hedgehogs and other creatures. And the hog house was just sitting out here. So, uh, what I managed to do last night, if I can take the cover off. And Cookie knows that there was cat food in there. But I want to see if they're still okay or if they've come out last night from here after I placed them in. <clears throat> Cookie, can you come out the way, please? And see if they're inside or they're on the way, if they've left. Well, a good sign is... Opla, they have been back in here because... Opla, watch, Cookie. The lid is very, very heavy. With one hand. The good thing is that they've ate their meat, so I will put some more out in fresh water, I think, in case they come back. Let me have a look. But yes, guys. Oh, we still have one in. Now, let me have a look. We still have little Megan in here. Do we have both? Now she's the one that was wanting to escape last night. So she's either came out, had a wee walk about and came back in, or she's never left and she's the one that's ate the the cat meat and the the water and drunk the water. So I'm in two minds, guys, now, whether to go into the garage and get a small box and put her back inside until such times she's a little bit bigger. It's hard to tell if she's been out and about or what. Hmm, two well, minutes. Because the box is damp, there's plenty of, as you can see, food for them. I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to actually cover her back up just now. See, she shouldn't be awake. Well, I was going to say she shouldn't be awake, but I think I've just wakened her by taking the straw off. And Cookie's there. She's used to the animals, cats, dogs, etc. So she's not too worried about the wee hedgehog. What are you doing, Cookie? So there we are, Rosamund and Megan, for two minutes. Right, I'm going to cover her up, guys. That's her been. And there we go. As you can see, she's got her ear hole. She's got the pipe. She's got a little bit of water in there. I'll come back down and see her in about an hour's time, I think. I'll have a look at another box as that big one has now been flattened and put out for burning. 
and then we'll decide whether she goes back in or just to monitor her. Okay guys, I'll give you a wee update on Megan later, but the big boy, which I thought was the one that was less eager to get out, but he's obviously on his way. He could possibly be sleeping in there. But we shall see, as I said, I'll give you an update in a little bit. Right guys, I've had a wee think when I come back up there. And I've got uh, another smaller box. I put newspaper in the bottom and cut quite a large hole, but that's fine. Newspaper at the bottom and I have filled it with fresh straw. I'm going to cover the lid. As I said, I won't go back down right now. But I forgot I have got a shed. So I think little Megan is possibly not quite ready for the transition yet. As I said, I'll leave it for a little bit and then I will go back down. And uh, apparently we have John Daniel coming today to screw the bolts into the shed and into the cement base. And if he comes or if he doesn't turn up, what I'm actually going to do is place little Megan not inside the box but inside the shed and I'll put this box in the shed where it'll be nice and dry plenty of air until such times I feel that she's ready for the all. I know I did waken her by moving the straw this morning but it seems it seems to me that she's possibly not came out that hole last night and they're just, um, just not ready. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go back down there in a little bit. There's plenty of air holes going through the shed anyway. There's a full line where the lock is. And then I'll take the onions and garlic, etc. out of there once John Daniel's been. Or not been, as is the question. Uh, and then she's got the full shed then to run about if she wants to come out and about, hasn't she? until she's ready to go out on her own. So we'll update later. Hi guys, just before it gets really dark, rain's off again. I have done an absolutely smashing pick of raspberries. I'm down here with my torch. And I think that's Hannibal chasing one of my cats. Now, I said I would give you an update on the hog. And about half an hour ago, I went down. Let me see. That's gone. What a great idea. I'm bringing that out into the shed. Now, I hope you can see in here, guys. As I say, it's getting dark. Doesn't look it from here right enough, but yes. It's getting dark. That crazy dog up to now. Anyway, I went down there, as I said, about half an hour ago to set this torch so you can see a wee bit. And I actually never thought... Oh, I'll turn it away from there. Oh, she's been out. Let's see if we can zoom in. Just about see her there, I think. So she's been out and she's went back in again. When I went down, she just... I don't even know if she's maybe not well. I don't think so, though. As I said, she's been eating non-stop. You'd be thinking she's just... Uh, she's not quite ready for the outside world. So I think... And here should be ideal for a few days. Take that away from your box. Or his box. As you know, I've called her Megan. So she's sitting on... Um, the box is sitting on top of a square piece of Perspex. Because we got glass for the windows in here instead of Perspex. And I put some hemp straw in a wee area round about. But as you can see, she's got the full... She can run about here to heart's content. More hemp straw there. 
I've got water there so that I'm going to check in the morning, sorry about that. If she's needing more water. And so she's got a bowl of water there and tonight she has a lamb, cat food. So that's what I think we're going to be doing guys for the next few days. As I said, I know she was smaller, but she was the one that was constantly, constantly eating every time you checked. But that's just the right size of box for her, so as I said, she can run about in here all night. Uh, no doubt we'll get the old slugs or the old snail in here. Because we have a small gap, not much of a gap, right enough, down here somewhere. And you know what slugs and snails are like, if a slug or a snail can get in there then she'll get a wee bit of extra protein won't she? It's the best thing I thought I could have done today because uh, Because Harry's off and when I checked on him about half an hour ago I'd already had that box all made up just in case, but uh, Harry's definitely off, and there's no sign of him coming back. Let's see if I can give you one wee last look before I go and leave in peace. I'll come down and check later when I do my slug patrol, but I won't come in, I'll just shine the torch in. See him here. She was right up the back of the box, totally and utterly covered, so she's obviously when I've left her has came out and had a wee look about her environment. Thought, oh I'm quite happy, I feel quite safe, and I'll go back in. So there we go. That is tonight's update. And I'll just add that on to the wee one that I've done this afternoon. Okay guys. So we'll leave a little Megan. Garlic and onions are well off the ground away from her. And that should be enough food for us for tonight. And there's breakfast up there waiting for her. So that's me until the next video guys. I've got a couple to go up. Uh, a courtyard update on the veg etc growing and another garden veg update that's to go up. I've just not had time because there's work to be done in the house. So I've been away, I'm doing it myself. And I'm playing catch up as I'm working at the farm all next week. And then I've got my sister and the kids coming the week after it, so it's been non-stop. Anyway, enough of that. I shall see you later. <sighs> Bath and bed for me, I think, guys. Au revoir. Bon nuit. My little hedgehog. Au revoir, guys. To the pit. And bye to bye.